What's up guys, so in today's video I'm going to be breaking down how I actually edited my recreation of Joji's album cover. I had a few comments that mentioned that I should show how I actually did it, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I do want to say that I used a red LED light to illuminate my face just to help me achieve um, that red you know, tone that he had in the album cover. Um, you can use a red LED if you have one, like an RGB light, or you can use like your iPhone and just get like these gel strips that they sell for like a dollar, two dollars. Put it on, put it on your iPhone light, and they'll turn the light from white to red. You know, just so it helps you out, so you can achieve uh, these results a bit better. So I do have this posture corrector on, so don't mind me. Um, so we have Lightroom open, and as you can see. Um, everything's already reset. So the first thing I did is I actually used one of my presets. It's called Dark Grain just because his album cover, I do have it open here, has a little grain right over here if you can see around here. So I kind of wanted to reflect that on my photo. So we're going to go to Dark Grain and we're going to select that. And just to give you a quick rundown on what that preset looks like, these are my settings. Exposure is at 0.70. Uh, let's actually just hide that now. Uh, exposure is at 0.70, contrast is at 10 plus, uh, highlights is at minus 45, you guys get the gist of it, the S-curve, uh, the color palette, the hue, saturation, luminance. So with the lens profile correction, I actually turned this off just because I wanted a slimmer look um, to the picture. Um, let's see, then from there, oh, FYI, just because you use a preset does not make your picture perfect you're gonna have to dive in and retouch it um fix a few things so don't go and buy presets thinking you know you're just gonna add it to your picture and think they're gonna be good uh because you still have to do some retouching to it and then we're gonna play around with the temperature we're gonna go like that we're gonna move the tint exposure we're gonna crop this down actually four by five is what i did Crop down just a little bit so we get a bit more focused on the face. And as you can see, once you bump up the exposure, you have my full face showing. And you don't want that. The album cover is showing like a light side and dark side. You kind of have shadows and you have it well exposed on the other half. So we're going to just keep it like that. And what I did was I went to the graduated filter. I added one right over here of course you can adjust it and then from there we turn down the exposure slightly not too much now from there we went to where was the saturation i pulled the color just a little bit and then we added some green vibes to it and now from there you can do the same thing to this side Side, just back. And the reason I did it to this side as well is just because I wanted to get a bit more into those, like the contrast and the highlights. I kind of want to reduce, reduce them just a little bit. The shadows, the shadows we're gonna keep maybe at 15. The whites. Slightly at negative one blacks. And we're gonna go. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna adjust the blacks, and now we're gonna just bump that up. Kind of gives it like a faded kind of look, because once you lower that, you don't want like a very contrasted photo. So you're gonna bump the blacks up just slightly. Reduce picture exposure. Sorry. Actually, mess around with this again. Like I said, guys, just because you add a preset does not mean your picture is already done. Hmm. I actually left it on color last time, but I think I'm gonna go and keep it on standard. Kind of like that. And then from there, we just add contrast. I kind of like that this time. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time. Now from there, uh, we're going to go to, where was it? 
sharpness. You don't need to do this. I just did it because I didn't want to skin retouch. And this was like a very fake way of like reducing the sharpness on my face. We're going to just go ahead and do this. And this. This is my way. This is how I achieve the results. People have different ways of doing things. So don't go and comment that I'm doing it wrong. This was how I did it. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you guys how I did it. Just a little bit. Use the spot healer, spot removal. And I removed some little blemishes that I have. Oh, whoops. I'm done with the space. Just wanted it to be a bit more cleaner. Um, and I didn't shave this day, so my hair was kind of all over the place. And then if you notice, his background, like I said in the video, I had my curtains to help me out, but his background is kind of just like flat. But I'm pretty sure he had a backdrop. But we didn't have a backdrop and I wasn't really properly set up. So what I did was I went to the adjustment brush. I made a new adjustment. We're gonna change it to exposure. I'm gonna go to show selected mask overlay. And we're just gonna color this in. And the reason behind that you'll see right now, just be careful with the hairs. It's okay if you go over yourself just a little bit because you can easily just erase and bring it back. I don't fix the issue, so don't be afraid. Ooh, that's a bit too much. So as you can see, we're going to go to race. And then I'm back. We're going to carefully go around the ear. Very hard. It's very hard to tell where the ear is. But we have an idea. And it won't really matter as soon as we fix this right here because that side is already dark and it's going to get even darker right now once we're done with this we want to be careful with that little cross the reason behind that is because we're going to go ahead and lower the exposure for the background just slightly we're also going to pull actually we're going to contrast with that but we're going to bump up the tint the magenta side. I'm gonna go down this way, use the half. I just thought this would be an easier way just to hide the background slightly. Um, when it's fully exposed, you kind of see like the folded parts of the curtain, and I kind of didn't want that in the picture. Of course, it's my mistake because I could have properly set up, but I chose not to because I thought it was gonna be an easy picture to recreate and honestly a video that I did not expect to do well did very well and I'm very happy that you guys are enjoying the video as you can see the background is much more dimmer it's less vibrant you can rarely you can barely see the curtains in the back just this little part so for that I actually just made another brush and I just carefully on it and then I darkened it just to see if it matches the rest of the background. Kind of want to pull the saturation from that this time. Uh, let's go and pull the saturation just a little bit because that side is still a bit bright. And then over there, we're gonna add a little bit more green with green, green, green. Where's the green tab? Oh, here you go. Yeah, we make it to 67, 69. And from there, you can see the green actually appearing in the photo. We kind of want to make it a bit more purple. So what we're going to do is go here to the saturation tab. And we're going to just move the magenta and the purple tabs. Just, just slightly 
But that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what I did. And it's all around. It's all about playing around with the tabs, um, seeing what color fits what, um, seeing whether you like it or not. And honestly, I was happy with the results. Um, I see you guys were happy with the results, but I'm I'm really bad at explaining the process. I should probably record myself when I'm actually in the process of editing things because right now it's like, I don't know, it's like I want to change so many things even though I liked it the first time, but this time I want to try more things out, you know? <laughs> but that's pretty much how I got the result. I hope you guys learned a little bit from this video. Um, here's the tab. You guys can go ahead, slow down the video, check it out. But. I'm happy, like I said, that you guys are loving the video. Thank you so much. Maybe I should do recreating album, album covers more often because this did really good. Okay, thank you guys so much. We hit 600 subscribers, which is crazy. I wasn't expecting it. I actually saw it right before I started filming this video. But thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let me know in the comments down below if this helped you out just a little bit. And let me know what other videos or what other album covers you want to see me recreate. And I'll be happy to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, to inspire the uninspired. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.